What's going on gamers? My name is Rolezy and I'm back with a second video today real quick because I wanted to show you guys that although Rockstar did try and patch the director mode glitch, we have a new method that works perfectly and get this, you don't even have to close your game, no delete save data, nothing like that. So you can keep doing this glitch all day or for the next you know month if you want to, if you don't want to turn off your console and you want to just keep it on and let it run. All right, you can keep doing this glitch forever if you want to until you're freaking xbox just explodes all right but yeah so if you don't want a patch to go through just make sure you don't close out of gta or restart your xbox or anything like that the patch goes through once the police sirens go off and everything so make sure you don't do that all right and as you can see right here on the screen i'm just proving you right here on the female character because that's the one you want to start out with that i do have the most expensive apartments right there all right slots four five and six for the solo money glitch all right so four five and six most expensive apartments on your second character you need to go you need to start out with that all right if you guys are really excited about this video make sure to hit that blue thumbs up like the video subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant i come out with any more fresh and informative dope content now this is my male character, which is my main number one character. You want to switch back to him then, and you want to purchase the the apartments, the three cheapest apartments in slots four, five, and six. All right, for everybody that hasn't done this glitch yet, I'm going to go through all of it, all right? So you want to go to your second character, buy the three most expensive apartments, put them in four, five, and six. Now on your main character, go back to him or her, and you want the first or the, um, the slots four, five, and six, and the three cheapest apartments over here, okay? That's the setup that you need. And you only need to do this one time to hit this solo money glitch, all right? So now what you're gonna wanna do now that you're on your main character and you've purchased the three cheapest apartments, you're gonna go ahead and leave GTA online and you're gonna go back to story mode. And when you're back in story mode, I used to say you have to close your game to be able to go in director. You don't have to anymore. Just go to game, go to load game, and load up your last autosave or any, any save game you have for story mode. Okay, so now we're just waiting for the save game to load up. I wanted to fast forward through all these loading screens so you guys didn't have to wait too long in this video. I'll make it short and simple. So now that we're back in story mode, you want to make sure that you're on Michael. I have heard it works with other people, but I can guarantee you it should work with Michael. Not everybody can hit the director mode glitch, guys. Getting glitched out, I do have a friend that just couldn't do it. I got his account info, and I even tried it, you know, for myself, and I just couldn't hit it on his account. It's, it doesn't work for everybody, but try this method out exactly the way I do it. If it doesn't work, then I'm sorry, but... It is working for the majority of the community over on Seven Sins in the forums. If you ever want to go over there and be part of the glitch community, I'd recommend it. But yeah, so go ahead and enter director mode. Open up your interaction menu. Once you get to the trailer, hit that enter director mode and you'll walk out as Michael. And you'll know you're in director mode by the top right. You see that? Now open up your interaction menu, go to settings, and you want to go down to explosive bullets. Turn it right on the D-pad to activate it on and hit X. Or square on PS4, X on Xbox. All right? So now... I'm going to slow it down here. This is how you get glitched out. Switch to your assault rifle. You have explosive ammo now. And you're going to want to hold the left trigger, aim, and the pause button. All right? You're holding both at the same time. And then you're going to want to simultaneously shoot the gun and let go of the pause button. Okay? So right here. I'm holding start and left trigger. Now right trigger. And then let go of the start button. And you're going to see that. You see that? The bullet was just firing out. And that's how you know that explosion is happening right there. Okay? So this is the new part. You no longer have to go to creator mode anymore. Now all you have to do is go straight to choose character. This is how you bypass the patch that they just did. And as you saw, Michael was standing up while the explosion happened. That's how you know you got glitched out. No more double menus or anything like that. So now we're in the choose character. You're going to choose your second character where the expensive apartments are bought on. Now, you're going to hit B about five times really quick right when you start loading up in the clouds and then up to up two times on the d-pad and a and you're going to see that message right there that you want to exit director mode you're just going to accept that okay if that was too quick just rewind it you know we'll go back through that but yeah right when you load up in the clouds b four to five times you want to press b or a circle on playstation and then you're going to hear it in the background you go up two clicks with the d-pad up up and then a and now you see that while we were waiting in the loading screen, we timed out. That's what you want to see. That's the new way to time out. So now that we're timed out, it's going to load you right back into story mode. This is way shorter, guys. It's so legit. So now we're back in story mode. We didn't have to quit our game. We didn't have to do anything like that. Now you're just going to simply press start, go to online, go to play GTA online, and go into a closed friend session. All right? Now... You're going to load the closed friend session. You don't need to do the invite only. Not sure if the invite only works, but I know that this is the way it works in the text tutorial. So I was doing it this way and it worked perfect for me. 
and now we're back in as our main character. The way you want to test it is either you are merging, you know, clothes, so go ahead and look at your clothes if that's the case, or if you're just doing the solo money glitch like we're doing in this video, go ahead and go to the apartments or in the garages, pick a cheap one, go to purchase it, and you see that? Slots four, five, and six. The cheap names along with the expensive prices. Right there, 525 grand I just got from uh, from buying it over into there, getting the 50% discount, or, or uh, refund, I should say. Now look, 466 grand. So yeah, just buy the cheap apartments over the three expensive apartments again because they're glitched on this character. And there you go. Look at that, 426 grand. And that's the glitch, guys. It's really simple. You don't have to turn off your Xbox anymore. No calibration. No none of that. No prologue. None of that crap, you know? It's a really easy glitch now and you never have to turn off your console again. All right, so keep doing this all day. Bypass the the patch that Rockstar might implement today by just keeping your Xbox on. If you're on PlayStation, you could put it in rest mode. Uh, on Xbox, just go into story, and uh, you know you won't lag out of story or anything like that. If you want to stay online, go ahead and go in your apartment, watch TV to go AFK. You can go in your bunker and go in the security cameras to go AFK. There's a lot of ways to not lag out of a session or to just you know bypass a uh, you know bypass a patch. So just let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. And that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I'd like to thank you for coming back to the channel. Please like the video if you thought it was really helpful. Comment down below anything you guys want. Subscribe to me if you're new. And turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. Road to 500 subscribers, guys. I'm pushing it. Let's get there as quick as possible. I love YouTube and I love all of you guys. All right? That's it. Have a good day, everyone.